I've visited St. Paul's Cathedral many times before, but today I've taken the opportunity for a very special guided tour by the precentor of the cathedral. James, before we start our tour, your presenter here at St. Paul's Cathedral, well, not presenter, but presenter, what does that job include? So a presenter is literally one who sings, and I'm one of three priests who sing the services here at the cathedral, but I'm also responsible for worship and music in the cathedral, which is uh, a lot to keep me out of mischief. <laughs> Do you have to pinch yourself that you work here? I mean, it's such a special place. It, it, I really do. It is an extraordinary place. And like the world around us, the cathedral's always changing. It's different at different times of the year, at different times of the day, when it's empty and when it's full. It's new every day. I know you do a faith tour. Would you be able to take me on a little bit of that today? Very happily. And, <laughs> and when we have our tours, we begin here at the font. We've just come through these extraordinary Great West Doors, which are so much bigger than we require. They remind me of the Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's, they're doors for all kinds of creatures and a powerful reminder to us that when we worship, we join the worship of the whole of creation. And the font is very appropriately placed here at the beginning of our journey into the cathedral because the font marks the beginning of our Christian journey. So where are we right now, James? We're under the dome of the cathedral. We've just come through the nave, which takes its name from the Latin navus, many meaning ship. And that's a reminder to us that our faith communities support us through the choppy waters of life. And as we come from the nave, under the dome, our eyes are instantly lifted heavenward to the dome. We see scenes from the life of St. Paul. We have statues of saints from the East and the West. We have the four evangelists in mosaic, and also we have figures from the Old Testament. Here, in the very center of the dome, we have a compass, and that reminds us that people come from all over the world to worship here in St. Paul's. It's so spectacular. You could actually stand here for hours. Sometimes when children who come round, they are encouraged to just lie down and just look up. <laughs> I kind of want to do that myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than welcome. <laughs> about where we are now. We're in the choir of the cathedral, the east end of the cathedral, where our faith tour ends. And the choir is historically seen as being symbolic of heaven. It reminds us of where we're journeying to, and it really is a very beautiful place. We see thousands of angels and cherubs wherever we look. And at the very east end of the cathedral, we have our high altar, and above that, Christ reigning in glory, our ultimate goal and destination. <laughs> 